Art of Sculpting Your Business podcast is broadcasting from The Hive. The Hive is a small business resource center designed to support an innovative and entrepreneurial ecosystem in Virginia Beach. The Hive offers mentorship, networking, a variety of fundamental resources to those who need them. The Hive, where businesses thrive. Hello, and welcome to episode one of The Art of Sculpting Your Business a six-part series dedicated to highlighting resources, tools, and tips designed to drive innovation and growth. We are your hosts, LaVira Tolentino and Sheila Johnson. In today's episode, we will talk about the City of Virginia Beach's small business programs and resources with Autumn Bailey, Business Development Manager. Joining her will be our very own co-host, LaVera Tolentino, We'll learn about the many services and resources that the Hive and the SWAM Business Office have to offer and provide next steps for those that may be interested in taking full advantage of those resources. Special guests will include Ogo Torres, Chairman of the Virginia Beach Minority Business Council, and Councilman Aaron Rouse, City Council Liaison. We'll start with Autumn Bailey. First question is, what is the primary objective of The Hive? The Hive is a business resource center and we provide resources to small businesses, um, <clears throat> businesses that are trying to start up or establish businesses that are trying to grow and scale. So we connect those businesses with resource partners that service small businesses. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Autumn. What kind of support services does the Hive offer? So through our resource partners, we offer trainings, one-on-one counseling sessions, networking events, and really any opportunity for a small business to receive the resources they need to grow and scale their business. Thank you so much. LaVera, do you have any additional? Sure, so Autumn, um, we talked about the support services. Um, but are there any additional resources that the Hive can provide a business owner? Um, so the Hive um, creates a, a space where a business can come in and get any answer or any service that they need to, to, to grow. Um, so we have partners that come in and they can do handholding. Um, that's provided through our one-on-one counseling services. Um, so if you want to um, create a business plan, if you want to do a, a, a a marketing plan, um, if you want to learn how to market your business, if you want to learn how to find financial um, resources, um, we ha- businesses can come to our space um, and access that information. So we see you have some uh, resource partners here listed, um, such as the Department of Small Business and Supply Diversity. Uh, you have the SWAM Business Office at, uh, with the City of Virginia Beach, as well as LISC. And uh, Virginia Wesleyan University. Uh, when you when we talk about those partners, tell us a little bit about what Virginia Wesleyan does. So Virginia Wesleyan offers um, workforce development related trainings in our space on Mondays and Wednesday evenings. Um, they have Excel classes, they have project management classes, um, they have um, uh, any 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 training that. Um, <clears throat> someone in Virginia Beach um, feels they, they could use to um, expand their knowledge base. Um, and we also have an entrepreneurship training held in the, on the, um, in the evenings that can help them start their business um, and just find ways to grow their business. Um, we have other partners that are in-house. Um, we have One Million Cups every third Wednesday of the month um, where businesses can come and pitch an idea or pitch a concept to help grow their business to a panel of experienced business owners or retired business owners. We have Operation Hope in-house um, that provides that one-on-one counseling service um, and can help you write a business plan and help you get your credit prepa- um, repaired. We have SCORE that works with um, sm- um, startups. Um, and we have SWAM Business House that is SWAM Business Office that is here full time Monday through Friday. Hampton Roads Workforce Council is in house, um, and then we have the Small Business Supplier and Diversity that can assist you with getting your SWAM certification. Uh, we have PTAC if you're interested in um, government contracting with the city, and then Virginia Beach Public Library will be coming in house in October. 
um, to help you if you need to do research on your, um, on your business or in your community um, to execute your business plan. Well, this is awesome, Autumn. Um, that's a lot of resource partners. Um, and I'm pretty sure our small business owners or entrepreneurs out there would love to be able to come into the Hive and, and get some of these resources. Uh, my guess is, are these resources free? Yes, every service that we provide is free to Virginia Beach um, business owners or a, a Virginia Beach resident that's interested in starting a business. So let's get some foot traffic in here. Tell us where you're located and your business hours. Um, so we're located at 140 Independence Boulevard um, at Town Center at the intersection of Columbus and Independence Boulevard. Um, our hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we have several upcoming trainings that are available for September. We have um, credit money management on September 20th. We have Money Matters featuring Fulton Bank, List, List Campton Roads, and the Small Business Supplier, and Diversity that will be speaking on um, any grant opportunities and loan opportunities that are available. We have a small business workshop if you're interested in um, finding out how to start a business. And then we have an entrepreneurship training program starting Septem September 29th that will run eight weeks to help you complete a business plan. That is awesome. So we, we just went through a lot of information there. So give us a website where we can look for this information and, and find out some additional information and see how to register for these uh, upcoming workshops. Yes, so you can um, register for these events and trainings and meet with our partners through yesvirginiabeach.com slash the hive. Um, you can directly contact our partners. Um, all this information is available and registration for our trainings is available. Well, thank you so much, Autumn. Um, that's Miss Autumn Bailey with the City of Virginia Beach uh, Business Resource Center, The Hive, located at 140 Independence Boulevard. Uh, this a small business center is offering many, many resources, so we hope our small businesses take advantage of it. Thanks so much, Autumn. Thank you. Next up, I'll be having a conversation with Lavera Tolentino, who is the program administrator for the City of Virginia Beach's SWAM Business Office. So, Lavera. What is the SWAM Business Office? Well, Sheila, thank you so much for asking me that question. The SWAM Business Office is an office that provides a variety of resources. One of the main resources we provide is how to do business with the city of Virginia Beach. Uh, we uh, provide information to business owners, small, large, or whomever, on um, how to do those that get through sometimes that difficult process of procurement. Uh, so we teach them things about our SWAM um, program, uh, the requirements on our program, and then we also have a variety of webinars on um, doing just doing general business with the City of Virginia Beach. Anything from um, soliciting a bid or a proposal uh, to the procurement methods and, and all those things that come in with that particular process. Thank you so much, Lavera. That was very detailed. How did the SWAM Business Office come to be? Um, well, the SWAM office has always been, um, it, it's been really spotlighted and highlighted since we've had that disparity study in 2018. Um, and through city council and, and leadership, uh, they thought it was important that we have a designated SWAM office that really showed uh, where Virginia Beach was in, in the process of, of implementing all the uh, recommendations from the disparity study. And then also, I do want to point out that Virginia Beach has been uh, a leader in the area of um, utilizing SWAM businesses and, and making sure that their contracts uh, had space and, and allocated uh, additional resources for SWAM businesses. So uh, Virginia Beach has always had positions related to SWAM businesses and doing business with the city where it relates to those small businesses. They had two positions of a minority business coordinator. And then after the, the disparity study, of course, it expanded into a small business office. Thank you, Lavera. Now, I know the SWAM business office is located in the Hive, but how does the service you offer differ from those at the Hive? So um, again, the, the Hive has uh, uh, many, many resources available. So we partner with the Hive uh, in the respect that, again, we offer services on how to do business with the city. Uh, we offer a variety of workshops in collaboration with the Hive, uh, think basic training on uh, business basics. Uh, we offer training on, um, you know, 
uh, bonding. Uh, we offer a variety of training, but again, all of that is done in, in collaboration with the Hive. Thank you, LaVera. One last question. If uh, persons wanted to get in touch with or to locate the SWAM business office, um, is there a website? Is there yes, additional go, information? Yeah, absolutely. Go to the city's main website, vbgov.com, um, and you can find our SWAM office there as well as you. if you uh, listened to our previous recording, you you can access through the Hives website as well. Uh, so yes, those places are there for you to go to. SWAM at vbgov.com is another resource. So main page, vbgov.com, or go to SWAM at vbgov.com. Thank you, LaVera. One more question. Are there any upcoming trainings? Would individuals be able to locate that information on the website and yes. sign up? Yes, uh, on that SWAM webpage or website, you can go there, register for the upcoming workshops. Uh, we have reoccurring workshops on um, our SWAM program, the submittal process for uh, our good faith efforts and our, our SWAM plan. Um, we also have uh, workshops uh, every, every month we have a workshop on doing business with the city and I highly recommend um, businesses interested in doing business with the city to go to that website and register for those, those different webinars. Perfect. And if they wanted to reach out to an individual, would that be you? Uh, actually, they can, I accept anyone. Yeah, they can reach out to me, absolutely. But I would recommend that they uh, dial the main number if they want to talk with someone. Um, and that number is 757-385-4438. Again, that's 757-385-4438. And you'll be connected to one of our, um, uh, one of our staff members in the SWAM office. Uh, we have uh, additional staff. We have uh, Nikita Susans. Uh, Aisha Van Dusen, as well as Keith Lee. Uh, any of those individuals can assist a business in, in information they need regarding SWAM. Thank you, LaVera. Anything else? Uh, no, but thanks again for inquiring about the SWAM business office, and uh, we look forward to businesses coming to us and inquiring about how to do business with the city of Virginia Beach. Thank you so much. This is an excellent resource. And uh, once again, LaVera, can you share that number and website? Uh, that phone number is 757-385-4438. That website is swam at vbgov.com. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Next, we're going to move into a conversation with the Virginia Beach Minority Business Council, Understand the Mission and Impact. As mentioned earlier, our special guests are Olga Torres, Chairman of the Virginia Beach Minority Business Council, and Councilman Aaron Rouse, the City Council Liaison. These individuals not only have a passion for serving the city, they are also focused on ensuring that all businesses in our community have an opportunity to thrive. Today we will discuss the Virginia Beach Minority Business, Business Council's mission and vision in addition to the impact that the organization has had and continues to make. So be sure to listen all the way through. Ms. Torres and Councilman Rouse, thanks so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. I'm glad to be here. Yes. So let's kick it off. I have question one. This is for you. Ms. Torres, or can I call you Oga? Olga, please. Oga, Oga. How long has the Virginia Beach Minority Bin Business Council been in, it, in existence, and what is its mission and vision? Terrific, thank you. Yes, uh, the Virginia Beach Minority Business Council has been in existence since 1995, and our mission is to advance and facilitate an environment of business opportunities focusing on increasing expenditures to minority and women-owned businesses by the city of Virginia Beach as a means to further the city's economic development and vitality. And our vision is to be the leading influence in connecting contractor resources with city opportunities and beyond. Thank you so much, Ms. Torres. Lavera, do you have a question? Yes, Councilman Rouse. Question for you. As the uh, City Council Liaison for the Virginia Beach Minority Business Council, uh, what accomplishments are you most proud of uh, that this council has did and why? Thank you for that question, Ms. Lavera. Um, first, you know, I'd like to say I was uh, really excited to be um, appointed the liaison to the Minority Business Council. Um, I wanted to be you know, a true champion and advocate for minority businesses um, throughout the city of Virginia Beach. 
And so coming on board, you know, I was, I like to say our, our past chair, Ms. Sheila Johnson, um, has done a great job of, uh, of matching that focus and commitment to uh, contracting with small, small businesses and minority owned businesses and, and disabled owned, uh, veteran owned businesses throughout our city. And then we have our, our, our new chair, uh, Ms. Olga Torres as, as well has, has kept this a focus. So I like to say one of my, my biggest accomplishments has been making sure that the Minority Business Council and their goals and aspirations are taken um, very seriously um, and being able to report back to city council to uh, actually implement actions um, and not just have rhetoric that talks about uh, trying to build support for minority businesses, but putting in policies that are uh, been directed by and come from the board members from the, um, the Minority Business Council. So, and one of those things were um, the recommendations from the disparity studies, um, having to, to get those recommendations back and implementing those um, throughout our city. As you know, we're in the hive, and so having a SWAM office is huge. It's a huge benefit to all the businesses throughout our city, um, as well as um, you know, debungling um, large contracts, having prompt payment as well, um, and also being able to monitor um, where we are with contracting. And those have all been a great benefit to ensure that we are um, com committed, but also we're following the data to, to, to live up to the aspirational goal of, of contracting with minority um, and swam owned businesses. And, and, and if I could just say, it's, it's been a pleasure to work with our Virginia Beach City Council, speaking on behalf of the SWAM Business Office, and having that support from leadership, because it's very important with a program like this that leadership is supportive and that leadership wants this to happen just as much as anyone else. So we thank you as part of being the City Council liaison for the Minority Business mm -hmm. Council, but we also uh, uh, thank our whole City Council for being um, leaders in, in this area and, mm -hmm. and, and leading us through this whole program so we thank you yeah. and I think and it goes both ways thank you for that um, as well but it goes both ways I mean your staff um, including yourself um, Jeff Smith um, as well who, who isn't here um, also um, have speaking with Taylor Adams and our city manager Mr. Patrick uh, Duhaney and so uh, it, it's been a, a real great opportunity to take all of the board members led by the president uh, and chair Ms. Olga Torres um, take all of their, their ideas and insight, um, working with staff, and, and staff has been more than um, excited and, and, and more than capable of trying to make sure we, we get the right legislation, the right wording done, Correct. so we can, um, we, we can get those implemented. And so this is a great relationship and one that I, I, I definitely want to uh, hope it continues. Thank you, thank you. Absolutely, amazing. Uh, next question is for you, Olga. As a former member, I know that there are several events hosted by the Virginia Beach Minority Business Council. Can you share some information about those events? I most certainly can. And before, just real briefly, um, when I'm listening to Councilman Rouse, it reminds me that we are a committee. Uh, the NBC, there are members, it's not just me, we are a team, and our team also expands into a village, you know, with the support of the city staff, so it, it just really needed to add that, because that's really important. Thank you. We don't all work alone, we work in concert. Absolutely. And, obviously, that's a perfect segue, because this is how we get things done and events uh, programmed, planned, and presented to the business community. Uh, we have been fortunate to host two events every year, uh, with the exception of a blurb to last two years, right? Uh, we have a spring uh, contractors uh, um, meeting. Um, that's usually in the month of May. And we also have in the fall a conference and expo. And we, the first uh, event we missed, but we had two virtual events. So we're very proud of that. And again, we wouldn't have been able to deliver those without the support of, of you know, now the SWIM um, office staff. We had excellent um, results, I believe, and we learned a lot. We learned that we could actually pivot just like everyone else. And so we are very excited because this year we are really presenting in person the um, fall conference and expo at the Virginia Beach Conference uh, Center, and that's going to be on November 10th. 
We are very excited. We are finalizing the details on the keynote speaker. And once we have finalized that, we will be delivering the great news and inviting companies especially to support, but also the business community to attend. Thank you so much. Ms. Torres, can you share with me um, if individuals wanted to learn more about the uh, expo, is there a particular website or is there communication that will be sent out? How does uh, one find out about the upcoming events? Excellent. Well, you know, we are under the city of Virginia Beach, so we would have to, you could find us at the city website under the Minority Business Council. Uh, we can also, you can also find us on social media. But before that, I shared that, I'd like to say that we also have an email, which is swam at vbgov.com. So that's very easy, very easy because we're a family, right? So SWAM is very prevalent word that we use. And also we have meetings uh, monthly. Uh, there is a calendar of meeting dates and events on the website. Our most recent meeting was on September. It was always the last, a uh, second Friday of the month. I always forget the date, but it's always the second Friday of the month. You will be able to see the schedule of uh, meetings and events on that website. Thank you so much. And has the date been selected for the Fall Expo? Yes, ma'am. It's going to be on November 10th. November 10th. And is there a time frame for that? Is that all day? 12. It's like generally from about 12 noon. We have to get there earlier, obviously. From 12 <laughs> noon until 5 and you know well, there'll be a, an opportunity to network a little bit of entertainment but it's all about business and the businesses uh, who want to connect with city resources not just virginia beach because we also open it up to other resources outside of the city of virginia beach great and one more question in yes. regards to that particular event i know that it is a signature event for the virginia beach minority business council yes. is there a cost to attend no the event is free but we do like would like folks to register so that we could know how many uh, folks to be ready for and to have you know what we the handouts and just information in generally so that we can be prepared to better uh, provide the services and the information to them Fantastic. And this year it will be in person. Yes, ma'am. Right? Yes. Okay, in person. And does the, what does the day look like? What does that, can you paint a picture as to what people can expect that register for this particular event? Yes. Uh, we will have uh, workshops. We will also present a keynote speaker. We also will have resources. There's going to be an area where resources or resource tables will be uh, available to organizations outside of the city, corporations who have big projects come in and in other cities who are looking to uh, connect with small businesses. Absolutely. I think that's amazing. I think in the last couple of years, these resource partners or the partners or the companies that have come, uh, I think one of the benefits is for the businesses is they get to be face to face with those decision makers. Can yes. you sort of share some things people should be prepared for? Most definitely. So I, I would say if you're coming in to represent your company, uh, be prepared to share information about yourself. Usually uh, most people will have maybe not a resume, but maybe a presentation, business cards, information about the business, and be prepared to ask the right questions. Everybody wants to know what opportunity is there for me. So come uh, open to listening for opportunities that you may not have expected would present themselves. So just be open to, I want to engage. And also have in mind who you may want to connect with. Well, I believe we will have a list of resources uh, listed before the event. But when you get there, you also have a list of who's present so that you can target literally the companies or the organizations, departments that you want to approach to talk about your business. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Torres. I think what you're saying is get ready and stay ready. Yes, thank you so much. And can I add um, yes. also, uh, you can follow us on Instagram at myvbmbc and on Facebook, vab.mbc. Thank you so much. Lavera, questions? Yeah, so uh, Councilman Rouse, uh, Ms. Torres has provided us with some information, some amazing information on some of the things that the Minority Business Council is doing and has done. 
Um, and and it, we see that these are a group of volunteers that do a lot of work and they work hard. They have meetings every month to stay connected with the small business community. Um, so what is your hope for the uh, Virginia Beach Minority Business Council? That's a great question. Um, I think speaking from a council perspective um, as well, my hope for the, the VB uh, NBC is that you know, they are at the forefront of all economic development and economic opportunities. Um, you know, so much so that, you know, when we do economic development and we talk about that swam piece or that minority piece, it usually comes at the end of all of the discussion or the contracting when everything is already kind of set up or the or the pie has been uh, the pie has been divided, and so, you know, I like to see, you know, the the VBNBC be at the forefront of those conversations um, as well. The other the other part is is, you know, I'm out in the community, you know, quite often, and and I see a lot of minorities who own you know, businesses and small businesses as well as a, a lot of veterans, and they particularly don't know that the hive exists and all the resources that are available, and so. I like to see our city um, expand that budget to make sure that the advertisement is there, that the, that our our community is well informed on the resources that are available, um, and, and so that is my hope for um, the the Minority Business Council in Virginia Beach, and and to continue to be you know that leader in that aspect of it. I know. You know, the public may not know, but the, the state mimicked their minority business um, council after the great work that the members of Virginia Beach Minority Business Council um, has done. So I think uh, th that is something definitely to be proud of. But again, w w we cannot regress. We have to continue to go forward. And so that's what I look, I look forward to. That's my hope for Virginia Beach uh, Minority Business Council. Great, and moving forward, and 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 being one of those leaders in the in this particular industry is is exactly what uh, the their vision and mission is all about. So, with that being said, um, do you see any challenges for them in in this moving forward? And you know, as you mentioned, being in the forefront of those conversations, mm -hmm. do you see any challenges that may exist for the Minority Business Council in getting there? Absolutely. I think you know when you look at the policies in, in which that we've had to um, basically improve or reform, um, there's always going to be some type of pushback or some type of um, way or uh, step or people always want to go two, two steps backwards, one step forward. Mm -hmm. And so um, the challenges I, I foresee is, is, is that budget challenges, whereas, uh, again, when you start talking about uh, leveling the playing field and having equity uh, and equality in doing businesses and doing business um, with SWAM business throughout our city, that typically when it comes to a budget issue, those policies are the first one to go. And so uh, my hope um, is that the city of Virginia Beach will continue to do, you know, um, uh, annually or biannually um, disparity study to make sure that we are, are, are always um, keeping our, our SWAM businesses, um, uh, keeping them informed, but also keeping them as strong participants uh, when it comes to contracting, um, making sure that the city of Virginia Beach, that it's also, there, there isn't a fight to get more funding when you're trying to make sure that there is a level playing field when, um, when having uh, contracting with minority businesses throughout our city and just being a leader. And so understanding that um, going forward, I, I'd like to see this office expanded. Um, I, I'd like to see uh, more businesses uh, swim in minority business throughout our city, even if they, they don't necessarily contract directly with the city, but they, under, they know that we are here. They know that the Minority Business Council is here as a resource and that there are volunteers of men and women who own businesses who are SWAM business owners that are out here being a voice for their community. Um, and so, and, and speaking of communities, I, I like to see us uh, be, I think there's a big misconception that somehow the Minority Business Council only means African Americans um, as well. I think you know, we are led by you know, in Hispanic, and Latin, I want to say, Latina. get this correct, Latina um, <laughs> here. And so, again, we are a very diverse community um, as well. And so people here swim businesses, they don't, sometimes they overlook that the S in swim business means small business. And so that means you too. 
And so I just want to make sure we are, um, we, and my Narrative Business Council has always been very, very inviting, but we are open. When we are open for business, that means for everyone, you know, no matter the demographic you may come from, you know. And so, again, that is my hope for this um, for this body, for, for our Minority Business Council. And it's just been an honor to serve with, with just great people who, who just want to continue to uplift our entire community. And, and small businesses are the backbone of, of Virginia Beach. And so um, whatever I can do to help, I, I, I will always be here to be an advocate for it. Well, thank you so much. And, and, and just touching on one of your points that you said, you, you know, you, you felt like the budget should be there for types of uh, disparity studies and mm -hmm. to, to advocate for those small businesses. Uh, I do want to mention that, you know, of course, with you being on city council and, and the rest of our city council members that our city council did approve uh, for the city to do another disparity mm -hmm. study in 2023. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, uh, again, we appreciate that. And, and it looks like uh, that one of the things on your hope list is, is, is just going to happen. So we thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome as well. And that just comes from, again, the, the great leadership of Ms. Olga, as well as the members of the, of the committee of making sure that minority businesses have a voice um, in our city and that they are having actions in, um, that, that backs up that voice. And so I'm proud of the work that they have doing, that they have done, and that they will continue to do. Absolutely. Thank you again. Yes, thank you, Councilman. Olga, back to you. Um, I know you had shared some information in regards to the Virginia Beach Minority Business Council, how individuals could find out more information. You also shared meeting dates, uh, social media sites, etc. Is there anything else that you want to share before we close out this particular segment? Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I believe that the Minority Business Council uh, is an excellent uh, bridge to help our uh, small business community, minority businesses connect with the opportunities that already exist. I wholly, personally support, and on behalf of the MBC, all of the work that the SWAM uh, business office is uh, uh, providing to the community. And I love the Hive, that it's here. And I think we need to find a hashtag for the Hive in the meantime, <laughs> so we can share it, uh, because we do have our own social media that we'd like to, and we need to share information. And I think we definitely want to feed more of the Hive and the resources available here to our community, our business community especially. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely, thank you for that. And because you're a bilingual, can you repeat that <laughs> in Spanish? Me encantaría, gracias. Eh, quiero decir que el Minority Business Council es una, una, una organización bien importante para la ciudad de Virginia Beach porque ayuda a conectar a pequeños negocios y me, negocios minoritarios con las oportunidades que la ciudad ofrece para trabajar en proyectos grandísimos. Aquí este, esta organización y este lugar que se llama El Panal o The Hive en inglés es un excelente recurso para conectar con oportunidades, educación e información. Y en el futuro espero que podamos ofrecer información bilingüe también. Muchas gracias. Perfecto. Thank you. I it. Gracias. gracias. <laughs> yes. De nada. Gracias a ustedes. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. So, Lavera, I guess we're at the recap. We're at the recap. Well, let's cap it off. Today we learned about the many services and resources that the Hive and the SWAM Business Office uh, has to offer. We also heard from uh, the uh, chairman of the Virginia Beach Minority Business Council and the liaison, Councilman Aaron Rouse. Uh, I am so excited about you know, all of those that may ha not have known uh, about these many resources, they get a chance, number one, uh, they are uh, educated on those uh, resources right. that are available. And number two, they understand clearly that they are available for them, it's available for everyone. Anything else you need to offer? Yeah, I, you know what I would say too, is that these resources are, guess what, Sheila? F-R-E-E. -E. No cost. Free. Free. You know, you can come into the Hive. We're located in prime real estate area down here at the town center. You got Miss Autumn Bailey here that's going to assist you with all the resources that they have, all the partners they have, and everything is free. And you're in a nice area. Go grab some lunch, come back to the Hive, get involved in the next workshop. So, yeah, we've got some remarkable, awesome resources here in Virginia Beach, and I just hope every business out there utilizes it. 
Absolutely. And then again, I, I you know, am so glad that uh, Ms. Torres mentioned about the upcoming uh, Virginia Beach Minority Business Council Expo, because in the past years due to COVID, it has been virtual. Mm -hmm. So they're back in person. And I will tell you, I have attended it for many years. There are some amazing resources. And I think one of the things that she said, you know, businesses be prepared because you will be front and center with the decision makers. And so get ready and stay ready. There's opportunity out there. Absolutely. Uh, you just need to be prepared to take advantage. Right. Advantage of it. And as she stated, bring your capability statement. Uh, be ready to talk to those uh, those different exhibitors that are going to be there. There'll be other local m municipalities there. There'll be you know city representatives, city department representatives from within the city of Virginia Beach. So uh, probably over about 40 exhibitors will be there at that particular event on November 10th. Absolutely. So it's amazing time, amazing opportunity. That's our recap for this week. Yes, ma'am. It's so, over to you. If you have any questions regarding this week's episode of The Art of Sculpting Your Business, send it to artofbiz at vbgov.com. Again, that's artofbiz at vbgov.com. Again, I am Lavira Tolentino. I am Sheila Johnson, and I, I, before we close, i just like to share this information. Next week, we'll continue our conversation. Our special guest will be Dr. Kingston Griffin of Dream Builders Communications. The topic, the entrepreneurial mindset. When do you know you're ready? Thank you again to our sponsor, the Virginia Beach Hive, where businesses thrive.